Her 7 Weather is presented by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration. What another wonderful day across the Ohio River Valley, and it's fitting. Wonderful Wednesday at the Weather Department. Nice play on alliteration for the mid stages of our work week. Weekend finally in sight. What can we expect to see? Of course, we'll break down that weather for you starting at this moment in time. Out the door temperatures still very temperate in the low 60s. Crystal clear skies at this stage of our Wednesday. Winds continue to be a bit more noticeable, and they'll be a factor as we head into the overnight hours and through the beginning stages of your Thursday as our next weather system slowly brews in parked and positioned across the border of Indiana and Illinois. Cold front draped across. Remember, we talked about this yesterday. It's formed. It's going to be a dramatic shift in where our temperatures are right now compared to what we'll experience as we head in through your weekend. We'll go from the 60s to the 50s, lower 50s as we head in through the day on Friday. I do just want to point out all of the snow activity up towards Ontario, Toronto, uh, just through the uh, provinces of Canada. I wish I was up there, but still, let's talk about what we can expect to see here at home within the Ohio River Valley. In terms of rainfall, the primary time frame looks to be between 5 to 8 a.m. We're not necessarily going to see much, a uh, one hundredth to a tenth of an inch of rainfall. Uh, necessarily not much in the way of rainfall, perhaps just a trace amount of rainfall as we head into the day on Friday. Winds will also start to shift. That's going to pump in some very cold Canadian air, at least as we head into your weekend. Our source region the last several days has been southwesterly, and it makes sense. Southwest to us, uh, typically warmer to the northwest typically cooler and that's what we can expect to see as we head in through the day on Friday a return of some cooler conditions and it's going to be well reflective in terms of our temperature coaster we're actually going to slowly inch our way down throughout uh, uh, the day tomorrow with a cooler air mass starting to settle and even through your Friday Saturday continuing on in through your weekend getting down into the low 50s now for the rest of the time that I have together talking about that weather I want to slowly go through predictor I've overlaid temperature data just to give us a real sense of where our air comes from, when we see that shift in wind, and when we can expect to see that rainfall. Southerly wind to keep our temperatures as the warm front lifts through in the mid 60s as we head into the early morning hours of your Thursday. Watch what happens though. We have the cold front providing just a few rounds of rain between that five to eight time frame behind it. That's the cold front. We can slow, we can kind of see just a shift in those winds. That means we're going to get a northwesterly component that's ushering in that cooler weather. Hasn't necessarily worked its way through just yet, but how about where you work into the afternoon and evening? That's when that cooler weather really starts to settle in, dipping down into the mid 40s by dinner time. So we go from the mid 60s to the mid 40s within a span of, let's say, 10 hours. So we're going to continue to cool down as we head in through the day on Friday, but at least the sunshine will be back for. Week one of high school football playoffs in the Mountain State as we head in through your Friday afternoon. Veterans Day is, of course, Saturday. Temperatures a bit cooler for any festivities and parades ongoing. Just have a jacket even through the beginning stages of next week. High temperatures return towards the upper 50s midway through next week.